can't handle my boomerangs, can you? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't touch me. Stand back, let me hit you with my boomerang. Yeah, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Quick, 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 quick. Pick it up, pick it up. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Oh, please, please. Yes! I think we did it, boys. It looks like the boomerang's the new, the new greatest weapon in the game. I think it's, uh, I think it's completely balanced. I, I made sure to make it completely fair. Um, oh! Don't! Oh, I swear, if this guy kills me, I swear, if this guy kills... Hey guys, Cobble here, and I'm back today with something that a lot of people suggested for a while now. Um, it's Boomerang. Sadly, I do not have a custom texture for it because I don't really spend much time making models, so if you want to do that, go for it. Uh, I might have been able to get away with just a regular texture, but I decided to um, just use a wooden hoe for now. But anyway, this is Boomerang's fully functional, as you might have been able to tell. Uh, it does everything that you might expect a Boomerang to do. So let's just set up, let's see, we'll set up a pig here, a pig here, a pig here, and let's throw the Boomerang. So what you do is you hold the item, and then you just drop it, uh, and you throw it, and it will kill the pigs because it's really overpowered right now. And as you might have seen, it did not come back because it got stuck in the wall here. It's kind of hard to see the item, though, because um, sometimes the armor stand gets stuck in the wall. So we'll go ahead and take it. Um, so it's pretty cool. So let me show you what happens when it comes back. So we'll go here, and we will drop it like that. And as you can see, I don't have the boomerang anymore. So we killed them, and now... Ooh, that thing went... <laughs> it went a little bit too far. Uh, I did give it a really high range, so you can go pretty far. This is something else. You don't need to pay attention to that. Uh, let's just give ourselves a straight shot. So it's about a 30 block range or something like that. It's pretty far. So let's kill them. That should def that will definitely come back to us. So now what we got to do is we got to catch it. Oh, okay, we caught it. We caught our boomerang. As you can see now, it's back in our inventory again. Uh, I guess we'll kill these pigs too. Uh, there we go. Um, so if you don't catch it, it will eventually stop. It comes back to where you were at, um, but eventually it'll fall because, it, you know, boomerangs can't fly forever. And when it does, it just falls down into the ground like that, and you can crouch and pick it up again. Uh, so it's pretty complicated, but I'll try to go over it. Um, if this is your, if the, you haven't seen the throwable swords, I would really suggest looking at that first because it goes more in depth into the basic parts. This is just taking the throwable swords and adding onto it to make it a lot more complicated, but a lot more cool. Um, there's, I think that's about all there is in terms of the mechanics. You can catch it, uh, as long as it's heading back towards you. You can't catch it as, as it's heading out. So if you, so that if you're doing this, this is multiplayer compatible, I believe. I haven't tested it yet. Um, but that way people can't just catch your boomerang before it hits them. Uh, also it only, I made it so it only deal damages, deals damage on the way out. Um, that way, that way you can't like, uh, Deal damage when take damage when you're in game mode two. As you can see, I'm not gonna, ugh, I'm not gonna take damage when I'm in game mode two and I shoot it, and I won't take damage when it comes back as I run at it and I catch it. Uh, but you would if it was trying to deal damage on the way back. So I just took that out. Um, so let's get into how the commands work. It's pretty complicated but we'll go over it so first we try and find the boomerang item which is just a hoe named boomerang i'll probably put specifics if i make this into a one command creation i'll make it like have a tag so that people can't just name items boomerang and have a boomerang they have to custom craft it anyway um so then it doesn't ray cast at the item because what happened what happens, my problem was, I drop the item, right? And you try and raycast the item, but since items are made to, if I drop this command block, you'll see that the item's spinning. It actually is rotating if I go F3B. Um, the, the direction it's facing is not, like, the way that the player was facing. So you can't really use it uh, that well. And it's kind of, you can't rake, so you can't raycast at an item because the rotation isn't the same as the player. So I execute at the item, and then I execute back at the nearest player, and that is who we're raycasting at. 
we're summoning the Raycasting Boat at the player, 100 blocks in the sky. And then we're summoning the um, Armor Stand that goes with it at the player. Uh, that's just an empty command block. And then we are teleporting the Raycasting Boat to the player. I'm just going to go through this stuff really quickly because we went over it in the previous video. But it is teleporting the Raycasting Boat to the player. That way it's facing their direction. And it is teleporting the armor stand to the player that way it's facing their direction not that it's a big deal with the boomerang since it rotates so that's almost not even necessary and then this one is just killing the item that you dropped uh so then this is the spin and movement it's not too many for it uh once you break once you break each part down it's actually not that many commands for each part um so this one is going to this is the ray casting command that we always use uh, executing it the passenger and uh and it's teleporting the boats the boat to it which makes it move forward uh, I have an explanation for that in my first video, I think, so you can go check that out if you're new. Um, this next one is executing at the boat, and it is teleporting the armor stand with the boomerang in it uh, right below it, uh, down at your eye level, because it's up in the sky, 100 blocks. Um, and basic stuff. Uh, now, this is the stuff for actual spinning. So it's executing at the back passenger. Now I had to make it not the boat for different reasons. Uh, I may remember why, but there is specific reasons. For example, like certain entities are get killed uh, that to stop it. So the boat gets killed when it hits a wall. So I want to make sure that um, certain things happen, like it's the, or some something like that. Uh, but anyway, so it executes at the armor stand, and which is basically the same thing as the boat, and it teleports the. Uh, the armor stand that has the hoe on it in a circle, negative 40. I can make it spin faster if I just change the number here. Um, then the next one is just adding one to its rank spin. It's a scoreboard that's basically just going to count things. Um, and when it counts to 60, which is about three seconds, it will teleport the boat. Um, it'll teleport the boat through 180 degrees to head back to you. Now, I initially wanted to create a kind of like, the, you know, the spinning in a circle kind of like circle pattern. Um, but doing that was just way too complicated. There was like, oh my gosh, like so many commands just to make it look decent. And even then it didn't look too good. So I don't think I'm going to be doing that. And I was able to make it go in a full circle, but then it didn't look very boomerangy, and I tried making it go in a full circle, like it would have to be a perfect circle. I tried making it go in a perfect circle and spinning it like that, but it just looked really weird. Um, so I decided to make it straight and back, which is what they do in Zelda. So if you guys like Zelda, this is like the Zelda boomerang. So there you go. I've never played Zelda. Anyway, uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, so next is the catching the boomerang. I'm trying to go through this kind of quick because there's a lot. So catching the boomerang, so it executes at the um, at the armor stand, the little boomerang armor stand, the actual ring itself, uh, the, the hoe. And if the hoe has a score of at least 61, meaning it has turned around by now, um, it will execute at anybody nearby that has a crouching a crouch rank score which is just counting up one every time the player is crouching so basically it's just constantly set to one as the player crouches uh, that's just a crouching scoreboard testing of crouching and it's executing at that player and it is summoning a boomerang above you so it's basically giving you the item i just didn't want to use slash give uh it looks a little better when you don't do that um then next it is executing at a player that has been crouching and it is executing 100 blocks in the sky and killing the boat that is 100 blocks in the sky and has at least a score of 61. So it's heading on its way back. Um, and it's also, so it's executing at that boat and it's killing the two armor stands and the boat uh, so that they all die. Um, then the next thing it's doing is it is also executing at the same type of player and it is killing the uh, the item boomerang, the physical thing you see spinning right there. It kills that thing. Um, so what it does is so it drops you the item, kills the boats in the sky, kills the thing. That's oh, did I? What did I do? Oh, it's back here. Okay, it kills the thing in the sky and it kills the um, the armor stand that you just saw there with the thing. Um, and then this is just setting resetting your crouch score because if you don't do this. When you crouch, your score will just go to like a bajillion and it'll never reset. So it doesn't actually know when you're crouching. Most people know about that. Uh, next is sticking it in blocks. Uh, this is just like the sword. Uh, it's adding a, it's removing a tag of air from the boat. Then it is adding a tag of air from the boat if the, um, if 
the the basically the armor stand is in air. That's the same as saying the boat 100 blocks beneath it is in air. So if 100 blocks beneath the boat, which is where the armor stand that you see is, if that is air, then it is adding the tag of air. And then it is killing... It's executing... Now, this is something I had to do. Um, I had to do this... Uh, there was a specific reason. I think it was... It had to do with the whole crouching thing. It has to do with crouch pickup and how I do that. Um, so it's executing at the boat. And it is killing the front passenger. So you can kill either the boat or the front passenger. It doesn't make a difference um, whether you kill the boat or the front passenger. It'll stop the ray casting if one of the two are missing. Um, so in this case, I decided to kill the passenger. It doesn't make a difference. Not a big deal. Um, so basically what happens, I'll go over this again. I said in the last one. So it adds the tag. If it adds the tag, nothing happens. Uh, then it removes the tag. And it tries to add the tag again. If the tag is not added, then it will kill it. So, removes tag, adds tag, nothing. Removes tag, doesn't do anything, kills it. Okay. Um, then this is just something that is counting how long the whole, all of the armor stands are living. And if it is at least 130 ticks, uh, which means it's basically a little bit past you, then it will kill everything but the physical boomerang that you see. That way, if it sticks in a wall or the time runs out, you can still give yourself, uh, still pick up the item, because the command that does summons the item executes at the player, and uh, well, it executes at the armor stand, which is the boomerang. So it's not executing at any of the crap up in the sky, it's executing at this to give the player the item. So that is why I used to have it executed the thing up in the sky, but I had to make it the item so that when it eventually stops you can still pick it up and the things aren't messy left in the sky anyways so then we have the last parts that are just typical uh, this is the damage deals damage if it's at least 15 ticks that way it doesn't hurt the player um, deals damage to zombies deal damage to skeletons it has to do it separate because skeletons and zombies heal when you hit them with harming and then this is just an extra one I added which uh, executes at the item that has the one the version of the thing that has returned basically so once it returns it executes at it which it's normally floating in the sky like like this um but if it didn't hit a wall and it came there and back without hitting a wall it'll basically just teleport it into the ground that's what that last one does um so so that was uh that was pretty a pretty brief explanation i tried to be as fast as i could um so let's just go over a recap we execute at the I we test we find the item, then we raycast from the item at the player. So we're raycasting at the player who has tossed an item. Okay. Then we are moving the boat forward, uh, and we're spinning the armor stand that's at the bottom where the boat is um, at the bottom of the boat, like all the way down here that we see. And then we are turning the boat around once it gets to a certain time that it's been in the world and it, and we're just continuing to teleport it the direction it's facing which will be back to us um then what we're doing is we are executing at anybody who's crouching and seeing if there is a boat 100 blocks in the sky above them or if there is a boomerang that is close to them or if and um and then it's killing the armor stand and boat and the boomerang and giving you a new boomerang uh, and then what we're doing is we are testing if the boat is in the air, and if it finds air, then it's good, but if it doesn't find air, then it will make it stick in the wall like that. And it does that by just killing the boat. Um, and then we are also killing it if it is in the world for long enough. And then finally, the last commands are we are... <sighs> we are dealing damage... As long as it is facing forward, uh, for the duration of time that it is facing forward, we're dealing damage to entities that aren't undead and entities that are undead. And then we're teleporting it into the ground if it no longer is flying. So, a lot of stuff to talk about there. Um, the structure file will be in the description. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know a lot of you wanted it, and a lot of people are saying that they want the guns one and sadly I'm not going to have the guns one out for a while because we still have a couple other parts of the ray casting to talk about like rotating stacks of boats and all that good stuff and 
entity turrets and stuff. So this will be the probably the last one um, in the ray casting tutorial for now. Um, when it comes to application, then we'll go back to regular ray casting, explaining how things work. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of goodies. I will probably have more videos soon on uh, mechanics, but I'll probably be focusing a lot on maps, so it might be a little slow again. Uh, but anyways, guys, other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later.